If you have a pen tablet, what size monitor should you get for it? This is a super popular question. A pen tablet, again, is a drawing tablet that does not have a screen. Now let's be clear on what size means. Size for a pen tablet is the diagonal of its active area. Monitors and televisions measure their size the same way as a diagonal of their display panel. Using diagonal length is convenient because it makes it easy to compare the sizes of tablets and monitors. Let's get to the answer first, and then afterwards I'll tell you how I got to the answer and what you can learn from it. We'll begin with the standard categories for pen tablet sizes, from extra large to small. The sizes range from 22 inches to 7 inches. Now I'll add my recommended size ranges for those categories. For extra large, 40 to 50 inches. For large, 30 to 40 inches. For medium, 20 to 30 inches. And for small, 20 to 25 inches. Again, those are the recommendations I would give. But what matters is how well those combinations of tablet and monitor work for you. So don't use these recommendations as the final answer. Instead, treat them as a starting point for your own explorations. Now I will show you how I got to those recommendations. Understanding my process will maybe give you some things to think about as you try to find the right combination for you. Here it goes. I took five monitors at different sizes, and I took four Wacom pen tablets at different sizes, and I tried all 20 combinations of tablets and monitors. I used each combination for one week. And every day, I would draw something using Clip Studio Paint. This table shows every combination, and it is color-coded. Yellow means I did not like that combination. Gray means I neither liked it nor disliked it. Light green means I enjoyed using that combination. Dark green means I especially liked using that combination. You can see there is some kind of pattern developing. To explore this pattern, I'm going to use something I call the scaling factor. I've mentioned the scaling factor before in some of my previous videos. It is the relationship between the size of the tablet and the size of the monitor. It is very simple to calculate. Just divide the size of the monitor by the size of the tablet. For an 11-inch tablet and a 24-inch monitor, the scaling factor is 2.181. I'll just call that 2 for now. So if I draw 1 inch on the tablet, it is 2 inches on the monitor. And this works for any units of distance. If I draw 1 centimeter on the tablet, it is 2 centimeters on the monitor. I'll plug those numbers back into the table. Now I will simplify the table by drawing it as a linear scale. The scaling factors I liked fell between 2.0 and 3.5. Now, I will take the specific increments within that range, 2.0, 2.5, 3.0, and 3.5. And now, I'll apply those scaling factors to the standard pen tablet size categories. For each category, you can see the ranges are quite wide. Now, I will highlight some of the cells in darker blue. The dark blue cells are the cells that are close to the combinations of tablet and monitor that worked for me. Now, I will simplify this data, but before I do, let me make a few points about the table. Let's look at the top row, which covers extra large tablets. I would not recommend going with a very large size like 60 inches or 70 inches. There are no monitors I'm aware of that are so big. Of course, there are many televisions that size. In a future video, I think I would like to explore drawing with a tablet mapped to something so large. I've always been very curious what that feels like. Moving to the bottom row for small pen tablets, keep in mind I did not try any monitors that are smaller than 24 inches. And here we see sizes of 14 inches and 17.5 inches. And really, those sizes are more in the realm of laptop screens. So I'm not saying those combinations don't work, only that I did not specifically test them out. And certainly, I know plenty of people who use tablets with laptops that have screens at that size. Okay, now let's get back to simplifying the table so that it is easier to understand. First, I'll remove all the light blue cells, because these cells do not contain my recommendations. 
Now we're just left with the dark blue cells. For each row, I'll condense the dark blue cells into a single cell with a range of values. And then I'll simplify the numbers in each dark blue cell. And now we have the chart that I showed you at the beginning of this video. There are a few more topics I need to talk about. Aspect ratio. Most televisions and monitors have a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And all of the monitors I have and used in my tests are 16 by 9. However, out of the 85 pen tablet models I researched, only four have an exact 16 by 9 aspect ratio. In fact, there are no Wacom tablets that have an exact 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And if the aspect ratios between the tablet and the monitor don't match, then this causes distortion. So for example, if you draw a circle on your pen tablet, it will show up as an oval on your monitor. Fortunately, pen tablet drivers have a setting that let you force the active area to match the aspect ratio of the monitor exactly. And so if you enable that setting, there will be no distortion when you draw. I used Wacom tablets for this video, and for a Wacom tablet, the setting to match aspect ratios is called force proportions. You can find this setting in the Wacom Tablet Properties application under the Pen's Mapping settings. When you enable force proportions, you will lose a little bit of active area. But trust me, it is well worth it because it makes drawing on your tablet feel much more natural. And I have to tell you, I get people contacting me all the time telling me they have used their tablets for years and they always suspected it felt a little weird to use and they never understood why. But once they saw my video about force proportions, they enabled it and they said it felt much better. Another reason I'm telling you about this force proportion setting is that because it does shrink the active area, so that affects my calculations of scale factors for those specific tablets that I used. This table shows you exactly how the active area changes when I enabled force proportions for those tablets. Another thing you need to think about is the placement of the monitor. First, consider the distance to the monitor, and by distance, I mean as measured from my eyes to the monitor. To get an exact distance, I used a laser measuring tool, and I placed it right between the center of my eyes and I pointed it to the center of the monitor. Second, we also have to think about how much of your field of view the monitor will occupy at that distance. We can measure that field of view by calculating the angular size of the monitor from my eyes. With just a little bit of trigonometry, this is easy to calculate. I placed the 24, 27, and 32 inch monitors at a distance of 36 inches from my eyes. Initially, I also placed the 43 inch and 50 inch monitors the same 36 inches from my eyes. However, I quickly discovered that that was just too close for those monitors. So I moved those two monitors back to 40 inches from my eyes. And across the five monitors, the angular size ranged from 32 degrees to 57 degrees. Here are the takeaways from this video. First, again, these are the combinations of tablet size and monitor size that I think will work well for you because they worked well for me. Of course, this is from my personal experience and you might find that different things work for you. At the very least, with this video, I hope I gave you some insight into how I approach the problem and maybe you can use some of these techniques to find what works for you. Another thing you have to understand is what I was doing when I was trying these combinations. It's pretty simple. I was drawing. I was making illustrations. Yes, I was also doing a little bit of web browsing and writing email and writing documents, but I would say 95% of the time I was drawing in Clip Studio Paint. So when I say a combination worked for me, you have to remember I was using a creative application to draw. And in those drawing scenarios, it is very important to have a big canvas on the screen and to have the tool palettes around that canvas for easy access. For word processing and checking email or note taking or playing games like Osu or just using your pen tablet as a replacement for a mouse, well, those are just very different scenarios and my recommendations may not be relevant for those cases. Third, please make sure the aspect ratio is matched between your tablet and your monitor. I assure you, it will just feel better to draw. For Wacom, that setting is called force proportions. 
Other tablet brands like Huion, XP Pen, and Sense Labs have an equivalent setting. They just don't call it force proportions, and the UI to set it in the driver is different. Thanks for your time, and I hope you enjoyed this video.